Did I check out the Anila trailer for Grand Blue yet? Anila trailer for Grand Blue. What? What is this? Some like big titty goat anime chick? <laughs> exactly? What? Exactly? I saw a thumbnail. Exactly? Are those goat horns? Damn, this is exactly what I'm into. Right. Okay. Right. This game is so good looking. I find it crazy that I'm gonna have to... I, I'm gonna have to cancel my pre-order for Street Fighter VI. Right. I'm gonna ask Bandai Namco to cancel Tenkaichi 4. Uh, because we got everything we need here. Right, it's it. That's it. She rides sheep. She has a... Absolutely... Fucking massive... Horns. Like they're huge. Like full screen horns. Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising. That's an interesting voice. I was joking. I was actually joking. I was joking because there was some other hilarious, like three foot tall, huge goat, I'm sorry, huge chested goat chick in the old game. That was in fact the last character I played in Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. And I was like, fuck, this game's gonna sell 3 million copies. I'm gonna go to any point in this trailer, I'm just gonna stop it. That's good. <laughs> we got the good one. There you go. That's the good end, right? <laughs> Perfect. Literally, because at some point I could have just stopped the trailer and it could have been like, you know, this or this or that or that or for God's sake, you know, this. Wow. You know, holy guacamole. Jesus. There's a lot of this kind of stuff in Grand Blue, I'm guessing. Right? There's an announcement date at the end of the trailer. They said something about Evo, right? Tune in 33142 to witness the new GBVS King ascend to the throne at Tokyo Big Site. Right. So there's a next trailer at Evo Japan. Uh, that's going to be happening at the end of the month. There's also going to be Tekken 8, right? Tekken 8 is also going to be at Evo Japan. Maybe the first time we're going to see people actually play Tekken 8. I don't know what I was expecting. Here's what I'll say outside of the huge breasted anime girl. I will say... The game visually is looking kind of bonkers. I will say, I think this game looks better than Guilty Gear Strive. I actually think this game's art style is better. And art style and lighting. Something about it, you know? I, I think this might be Arc System Works best looking game, just in general. It doesn't have like the character and the rosters that I'm that I'm looking for, right? And I didn't like the gameplay at the start, which is what I'm hoping that's going to change with with Rising. But I truly feel that like visually, all this really looks like is a way better like DNF Duel. You know, DNF Duel is also not that bad of a uh, not not that bad of a looking game, but it's like around the mid level. Um, and Guilty Gear Strive is clearly like the their their premium shit, you know. But I feel like this game. I, I kind of like the way they light characters and the overall contrast of the game a bit more here. And the backgrounds, too. I really want this character just to get a character, did this game, to get a character that I want to play. Right? I don't know if she's going to do it. I mean, granted, I canceled my pre-order for Street Fighter VI and I've sworn an agenda to the game's success after seeing her existence because of her huge horns. But still, I need something more. Right? 
I need I'll need something more. God, man. Our system works is crazy. Who's this guy with the gun and he's is he cool? Who's this cat dude with a gun? Uh mm, the more I look at it, the more it's falling apart. The more I look at it, the more it's falling apart. Eustace, he is really cool. Uh, hang on a second. He's a zoner, but is he fun? Is he fun? Is he fun? No. All right. Well, there you go. There you go. I'm like, he looks kind of cool, I guess, because of his, he's got a gun. Sort of. I tried Sora's. Yeah, we tried Sora's as well. Sora's was when, uh, back in that, like, season one time frame. I played Sora's. Didn't fall in love. It was okay. Rising. Dope. Right? Dope. Dope. Maybe they'll change the gameplay in Rising? Oh, they are. No, they've already they've already talked about the game quite a bit. And granted, right? Granted. There's been a lot of games that are similar to Grand Blue Fantasy Versus that have come up over the past couple years. Um, between like DNF Duel and Strive, and I just wanted to play those other games more. But GBVS changed a lot. It this game went through some significant transformations that really pissed off its audience and then got them back and a lot of shit happened to the balancing of of grand blue over the past few years um and it's changed it certainly it certainly has changed so long story short i'm i'm curious right i'm just curious to see how much the game has changed and all of the crazy ass new mechanics they're throwing in it because they're putting a lot of more mechanical depth into the game um which is fascinating right which is fascinating